here for the band. That's awesome. All right, thank you so much, and welcome back to Mid Morning with Cool Mom. Uh, I seem to have lost my sidekick. Hey, Rex, are you coming back in for the show? No. But later, he is going to show the greatest holiday trends for toddlers. So that's going to be good stuff. My first guest is a, is a woman who I've really enjoyed getting to know over the last mm, years. Uh, it's my sister. My sister, Carol. Carol! Carol Brogdon. Oh. Ah, woo! Yay! Oh, so good. Thank you for coming all this way. My pleasure. It took me, like, 12 minutes. Oh, God, isn't that bad? People say LA is bad traffic. <laughs> Not at all. Um, so I, I wanted my sister here because I'm going through something that maybe a lot of you have experienced, and, and Carol has a lot of experience with this. It's called room parenting. Right. Well, okay, here's what I've learned over the years. All right. There's a small group, maybe five, six parents, mm -hmm. who do everything. And the other ones do nothing. I don't get it. How do they feel like they can do nothing? Especially in our school, which is a charter school, uh, it's free. You right, know? but it's the same thing at private schools. There's certain parents that don't lift a finger, and there's certain parents that do everything. I I, I don't know, but how did you deal with your the, your silent majority, people who didn't respond? I cut them dead. They're losing out. Yeah. I mean, there is no greater joy than bringing cupcakes for you know 40, 50, 60 kids. <laughs> So true. Well, you know, like the library volunteer, yeah. uh, which I finally, I have to say, I do have a mom doing that now. But I, I did it the other day for her Vivian's class and for another class. And, it, you know, it was also just fun to get to know her and her classmates of some course. more and stuff. Of course. And, yeah. you know, I'm hip with, with people who work nine to five, and I'm always like, that's okay. The teacher has some work you can take home on the weekend. But, right. you know, can you answer, just answer me back. Just let me know right. what's going on here. Well, what are you going to do with these recalcitrant? people that I, won't and we come on I mean what are you gonna do now okay I have the contact list I'm going to start doing it the old-fashioned way not the telephone yeah that's right I'm not no, hiding. Yeah. you're not calling people oh yeah I'm not hiding behind email I'm like that's big I'm sorry mrs. Smith I, do I have your email right so <laughs> that's so w w what happens when you would call people well they don't like it yeah so I, 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 an opening gambit oh, is to start out big and say Hi, I'm calling you because we need like ten thousand dollars. You know, we need donations, and then you go, "Ha, just kidding." What I really need you to do is come to the library for an hour once a week. <laughs> that's a good you idea. You know, so start high. Yeah, that's actually a smart idea because if somebody called me for ten thousand, my bowels would seize up. Right. Yeah. yeah. But then you work in and say, "Could you come to the library for an hour next Tuesday? I've got you down." But you know, one thing I just got an email from from a dad recently who's who I know, and I know he's a nice guy, but he wrote back, you know, I've just been so busy. And, and it was all I could do to, to say, and I'm not, you know, like. Right, and you're the only busy person. I know. You're so special. He's the only busy person. No, I just said, I understand, but this year we're having a very hard time with um, volunteers. You better pour yourself a big glass of wine before you start dialing, sister. Ah, my, it may be the case. All right, well, coming up next, Rex here is excited to show you what for, what toddlers want for Christmas. And it might be something that's broken. It's a piece they already have. Bye-bye. See you later.